I am intervention. And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Just McCormick, a.k.a. Mr. Intervention, back again. And we are continuing the legacy of Justin Rose here on Fight Night Champion as we're going to be going into our next fight here in just a bit. Last little message that we've got for the fight challenges. It's going to be against Zach Marquez. Knock down the opponent by round three. Win with less than 17% damage received. Knock out your opponent in under six rounds. And win with a punch accuracy above 49%. So should be very doable as we get into the fight. Zach Marquez, 29-6-0, 12 knockouts. So he's not the knockout artist like he could be. But let's see how this goes. And we're here at Metro Manila Arena. This is going to be a fun one. Zach Marquez has got less weight. But one more inch reach on me. We'll have to see how well this goes. Ten wins, seven knockouts for Rose. As we walk in here looking to see if we can make something happen. He is the same height as us. So this will be an interesting fight for sure. All right, here we go. Round one. He is coming at me pretty quickly here, so I'm going to have to brawl. Caught him in that one. He's doing a lot of punching here, so hopefully he can take advantage of it. Taking a few shots I don't need to take right now. Who missed that one? on that one. That was sad. Oh, he caught me on that one. There's a good chance I might have ended up losing that round there, but that's all right. We're going to have to figure this one out. Round two. Oh, he caught me again. Uh, come on, get away from him. No, we're not going down. Uh, 
He is all over me right now. Ooh, caught him in that one. Oh, caught him again. There we go. There we go. Just keep going at him. Get that body. Just wear that body out. That's what we gotta do. Go down. Round two, we get a knockdown. That'll work. Gonna clinch here. Tried to go the upper gut that time, but couldn't get him, but we got a knockdown, so that's all that matters there. Marquez starting to get a little bruising there. That's what we want to do is just keep at it. All right, here we go, round three. Let's see what we got here. Caught him that time. That's what we were wanting to do. Ooh, got a little bit of the uppercut on that one. Marquez is slugging with me here. Got a good little shot there. Round three is done. Round four coming up. Because we got a bit of our stamina back. We just need to keep working him. Flip side of the stamina there. Oh, caught him. There we go. Got the left uppercut to fit in there. Marquez down for number two. Marquez might have some trouble here. And he's down. That's a knockout. Marquez just could not hang. Did not even make the halfway mark. 
And Rose will get another knockout. That's eight knockouts on 11 wins. And we may just keep the silver and blue look. I do like it. We'll switch things out in a bit, but yeah. Round four knockouts. 90% on the counter, so definitely improving on that. All right, so we got every bit of our experience out of that one, so that helped out a lot. Still at the club fighter level, so we're going to see no mail from the coach. And we're going to see what's the next character to take on. We've got Wolfgang Fisher, got a small reach. Marquez, who we just dropped, Ezekiel Evans. Uh, Ethan Andrade. Then there's Isidore Dean, Dom Brunick, and John Gordon, who is the highest rated out of everybody. Let's see what the purse is. The top two guys, Dom Reddick and John Gordon, have the purse of 25000 So it could be a good idea going there. John Gordon's a taller. And none of these guys have massive reach, except for Dean, who's got a 73. He's a boxer puncher. And these two guys at the top are unconventional. So let's go ahead and go for... The top guy, John Gordon, let's face him. And we are going, oh, almost to Big Bear. Almost there. Mexico is going to definitely help out. That'll be, that'd be a big payday there. Big Bear is 30000 so it's going to take me a few fights to get there. We will actually go with Detroit here and train at that spot. So I will get into training and then we'll get into the next fight of the video. Okay, and back from training, we're just basically going to go defensive here, increase the blocking chin and heart. So we're going to try and get to where we're not taking as many stun states. 139 XP left. On this and we are going to get into the fight with our opponent John Gordon here we go and before we forget five challenges for this one we're going to be trying to go for a punch accuracy above 49 percent knock out the opponent in under five rounds win with less than 17 percent damage received and knock down the opponent by round five. So basically they want us to knock him out before round five. Let's get into the fight. Royal London Theater in London, England. And uh, this is going to be the first time over here. John Gordon, 72 inch reach at 6-1. So he's going to have us by about five inches. And a couple inches on height. 11 wins and eight knockouts for Rose so far. As we get into our 12th fight, John Gordon has over 35 fights or more. 27 wins, 9 losses, 20 by knockout. So the home crowd definitely going to be behind this guy. All right, here we go, round one. See if Gordon is going to come at me or if he's just going to try and play smart here. He wants to play smart, it seems. Ooh. Ooh, caught him with straight. Gordon hit me with that one and kind of stunned me for a second. Oh, 
Couldn't get any of those to go like I wanted, but it's okay. Kind of a good slugging round that time. Wanted to kind of counter punch a bit more, but he is trying to hurt me. So I see what I'm going to be doing against this guy. I'm going to be trying to work the gut. See if I can get that stamina going down because I have worked him a bit. Alright, he's going to hug me there. See if we can keep eating away that body. Ah, stepped away too far on that one. Oh, caught him with a hook. That's exactly what I was hoping for. shot in there and he's going to tie up he does not want any more of that <sighs> missed on that one That left hook in there kind of mixed it up a bit. I stunned him. He's still looking clean though. Cause I'm going for the body, not that head yet. Got all my stamina back, so that's pretty good. Man, we're fixing me. Ooh, good shot. Oh. Get him in that corner. Oh, caught him that time. There we go. Get that flurry in there. That's going to do it. Mix up the body shots and then the head shots. Bring in the crosses and the uppercuts. You can't block everything. Gordon will get up. So we knocked him down, so we got that one. Ooh. Ah, 
We've got the left to go. I oh, missed. He missed those two. Ooh, I weaved on that one. I wanted to get out, get that one, but could not. Ooh. Oh, wanted that uppercut, and I was just shot. Oh, he got me. Yeah, he stunned me, but I still knocked him down. <laughs> Here we go. Starting to work this guy over. He's about 80%. Yeah, 79, so I missed about one. I'm at 99%, so my stamina is right where it needs to be. Round four, here we go. Let's see if we can knock this guy out. Tried to go over the uppercut, but he went away instead of toward me. Ooh. Oh, this could be it. Oh, yeah, this could be it. Ah, good uppercut, though. Oh, no, the right there, he got me. Okay, here we go. We'll get right back up. That's all right. Hoping that after he knocks me down, he thinks he's going to get me. We'll see here. There we go. Dropped him about the same way he dropped me. Might as well. Ooh, right across the nose. So he's down again. See if he gets up. He is going to go back down. That is it. So we did what we needed to do, knocked him out by round four, but he didn't knock me down once, so we're going to have to try and toughen up here, change our strategies, be more of a counter puncher instead of a slugfest, assault type fighter. And I wore the same trunks twice. Oh, good grief. Forgot to change my trunks. That's all right. Round four knockout. There we go. But you want to win spectacularly. You want to get people interested, excited. He just did that. All right, so we got all four of our tests yet again, our challenges. Right, let's see what Coach wants. Coach is telling us about a streak. And what is this guy? We have Iris Landy Laura, 15, $36,000 purse. He looks like the guy I would not mind fighting. Boxer, puncher, let's go ahead and just take that. We'll go into it. And we have got enough. We're going to Big Bear. So we are going to start doing that. Big Bear is going to be where we're training. So that will definitely help out a lot. So we're going to go ahead and put an end to this one. I appreciate everybody watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day. 
and may God bless you.